So today I'm going to show you how to make um, pot holder mitts. I borrowed the neighbors and made a little pattern on newspaper. Um, then what you're going to want to do, I don't exactly know what this stuff is called, but it has, it's like a heat protectant felt that has, looks like metal or something in it, some kind of foil to protect your hand. You're going to want to cut um, two pieces of material for the front and back and two pieces of material for the inside and then two of the heat protectant things. Um, I've already cut them out. What I did with the front of this one, I folded the pattern a little bit to make it a little shorter and then put a border fabric on for the bottom. Um, and then what you do is take your front and back sections and put them right sides together and sew them at the bottom. That's going to give you a nice seam at the bottom. Then open it up and what you're going to want to do is put your heat protectant part on the side that's going to be the inside, on the material that's the inside. Then fold it over and you're going to do the same to the other, other side of your mitt, which is the inside and outside of the other side. Does that make sense? <laughs> put them together here. Oh, and as far as that border, all I did was cut a piece this long or, and wide and then just sew it on the front side first before I did it. I only did one side, or actually I did both sides. What am I talking about? Okay, so then you're going to sandwich it in there. And then what you're going to do is put your two front sides together and lay them together and it's going to be quite a thick sandwich but this way then when you sew it you can turn it right side out and you'll have your oven mitt so we'll see that in just a second. So I'm horrible at pinning but you should pin it all the way around right sides together and then go ahead and sew around your mitt and hopefully my machine won't get jammed up like it usually does. Okay so we've sewn them together and um, I'm going to go ahead and trim, make little cuts between the hand and around the curves and take some of this bulk off and then we'll flip it inside out. Okay, so it's sewn together. I've clipped in between here around the curve, just cut it in to the seam and now we're going to, that's just to make it and I've also cut some of the bulk off. Now we're going to try to turn it. Sometimes it's easier to push it, get it started anyway, and then go ahead and pull it right side out. And stick your hand in there and push the curve out, get the thumb out of there. <laughs> Sometimes easier said than done. I'd use the scissors, but with my luck I would poke a hole in it hurry. Okay, well you get the gist. There's your oven mitt. If you wanted to also, um, if you thought somebody would hang it, you could put a little loop in the corner here, um, but cut off your strings and you're all set. <laughs>